Welcome to Trading Lounge and the S&P 500 for the 12th of February. So in a bit of a nutshell, we're looking at wave three over here, ABC for wave four here, and then looking for wave five to the upside. So we've been looking at this now as one and two and three and four here and wave five here. So um, we need to go in and have a look at this little section uh, just here. So I'm going to cut through into the 15 minute chart before I do that though, um, this um, once wave three is in here, then we'd be looking for an A and a B and a C here for wave four to come back to the wave four of one lesser degree here. So this is quite a significant top here. And tops don't always finish just the way that you like them here. I can say here that I am looking for one more little move to the upside here. That said, this level here, the 3,350 here, which I call the midpoint, if that becomes the retested resistance then, then we'll be looking for, um, that means we'll be looking for further downside and would have a top in place um, at that point there. Um, the, yeah, so let's just go to the 15 minute chart and have a look at that. So picking it up from wave four low here, we can look at it like this here in terms of wave one and wave two here. We can notice also too that wave two here is actually quite large compared to wave one. So normally if wave two is simple, then wave four will be complex. So um, in this case, we would look at this as being complex and then we'd look at wave four being simple. So um, if we look at this here, that's a nice wave one here and two here, that can just go over a little bit to here and then we could look at this as wave one and two here and three and four and five here for uh, for wave three here and wave four and then five little waves up for wave five of three here so the 38.2 percent retracement level is back at three thousand three five two area so we always like to gravitate over to the closest largest number which would be the 3350 so we can know that that's a little bit lower than that and as i mentioned in the four hour chart or whatever it was the um this level here the 3350 if that becomes the retested resistance then we know that we've got a top in place and then we would have to look at counting this a little bit differently in terms of this situation here and having this top being in place uh, here for this all already and coming down through here. It does appear from this little pattern here that we've got further downside to come from here. Um, so it's, we very well like, may likely have a top in place already um, for this, but I do want to see it, you know, I do want to see a little bit more evidence in this structure and also this here as the um, the resistance here at this stage so um, yeah I mean if we've got to count this lower here it does look like this is like the first leg down and then the correction and then we've got this leg down here which will be five waves so this would be one and two here and this would be three four and five coming into here so we wouldn't want to see it go past that that pattern there at that stage otherwise would be looking to go short um, from that point there so um, let's just go in and have a closer look at that there so um, I might just use this is this is just my 20 tick chart that we don't really look at that much so just looking at this pattern through here we can see that this is impulsive here this has got quite a bit of speed to it here so it makes it nice sort of third wave here um, we're at our 38.2 percent retracement level so we would need to look at this here as um, if I can just borrow these here we would look at this as one and two here i'm taking it from the top here so one and two here and three here so we'd still see because it's just not finished this structure wave four and wave five here so um yeah so that's not not quite of right i should i should do it right okay so we'll get these guys here make 
like this, the A, the B, and the C wave here. So these are one degree higher here, so we'll just move these out here. So we can look at this as the A, the B, and the C wave here for wave four. And then we need to go one degree smaller here, so that's what we're going to do. I mean, the good thing about doing this is that we know that once we get past this point here, so we'll see a wave four bounce off there, and then we'll see a wave five come down into this space. It may even come down a bit lower here. But so we know that um, I can't draw on this side here, but I know that um, I know that once we get some type of which we are getting now <coughs> the bounce here, some type of correction here that should pull back up to the thirty eight point two percent. If that is the low, I need to count that. So it can pull back up to that point there, which is about which is about right, and um, then drop from that point, which will drop us down onto the fifty here. So that's why I say that um, you know if you can understand that this particular pattern here then you'll see that um, um, you know that any further downside past this 3, 4 and 5 here, anything past that becomes bearish at that point. We'll, we'll be in a bigger structure, we would have to count this as 1 here. And that this helps you confirm that there's a top in play at this point. So, so it'd be one and two here, and then this this wave C here would be wave three here, and then we would get a wave four, and then a wave five down at that point. And if we got five waves down at that point, then well, let's just um, let's just do this. It's a good exercise. This wave four would pull back to that wave four, wherever that is. So that's always a good guide stick. This would be wave three here, and this would be wave five here. And once we got that wave five in here, then we can look at um, a rally. So we'd look at an A and a B and a C rally here. Just delete these. I thought I'd get too much stuff. So then we could look at this being at this stage. We'd look at this top. Let's just take it down to. 45 you, you'll have to adjust that so then this would this ABC would come back up into this space here once you've got that low in you can adjust that of course but this would be about right because it's all that space there you know that's the where the most volume was turned over on on these guys so that that's really the resistance here so this is this would, if we get five waves of one and two and three and four and five here then we get the ABC then you can start selling into this space here um, and just take it lightly if you're, if you're selling into the turn because then you can build in, you wait for the first five waves to come down and then move back up, then short on the low here and take you into the third wave and just keep building, use the levels and the wave count to build down into the short side here. That's if we get that, of course, but um, we'll just see how that goes. I mean, we, you might want to think of counting this as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5, but the wave 4 here overlaps this here. <clears throat> that's the problem with that. But that, that could also be the case as well. That's, you know, that wouldn't be the first time that that sort of happened. Um, in that case there, then what you'd need to do is just look at the top here and the bottom here and say, well, this is the 61.8% up here. So if you're thought about going long, then you've got a really good support um, on the 65 here.
a nice classic trading levels pattern sitting on the support here, like this here. See how it's come up, had the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, then a corrective move here, then it's come up and sat on there. So then that's your that's your setup there and takes you up to the next level. But in this case, we would expect it to go above wave three here. So you can also add on, well, you could also add on 70 as well um, there. Um, and 72 and 73 and here's a little group one there and 75 is a midpoint so there's a lot of good numbers in here to work with here but I just put the skeleton here of 65 72 and 80 here um, okay well that kind of gives us where we you know gives us um, a few different strategies and options and so on so um, let's see how it plays out alrighty cheers